For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a bit of a review video on a kind of a tent from Outdoor Revolution. So with me here, I've got the Camp Star 700. So the Camp Star sits in the kind of the Outdoor Revolution Camp Star range. It's all basically a range designed to be something that is uh, great on terms of a price point, still good quality. Actually, for the level that you see, often certain spec levels that you won't see in sort of say similar type price points. The 700 being the larger size in the range, so ideally for seven people. Um, but it's really nice sort of 450 width, so you've got plenty of room throughout. What you've kind of got is your main core features that you want and love in a tent, but necessarily, you know, not necessarily things like zip curtains or zip dividers. So it's definitely more price orientated, um, but as a sort of a package deal comes with a tent footprint and carpet, overall it's a really, you know, very popular model. And it was introduced new for 21 uh, and carries on 22 pretty much unchanged. So... I thought I'd give a bit more of an update video about talking about things and almost the finished article. I know the first video we've always done on this product was essentially a sample. There's probably a few bits on there that weren't actually in the kind of production run, so it's easier to clear everything up. So what we've got here is the 150 HD fabric, which really, to be fair, is more like a 70 denier material. It's waterproof, it's a 3,000 mil high straight head, so really nice and waterproof. Um, and you've got, like I said, main things. So you've got their kind of dynamic airspeed system and their oxygen frame. So it's a big, nice valve, same you get on kind of dinghies and things like that. So it's very much tried and tested. And it's something they use in a normal range that Outdoor Rev do. And other brands share that with Outwell or Coleman. It's the same kind of valve you have with them. Do you have a nice big valve? It's very easy to get the air in and also to get the air out as well. So that's certainly one big benefit. Where is it then? Other things you can see is actually that the internal height's a bit bigger as well, which we'll come to in just a moment, but soon you've got this kind of almost like gothic arch kind of system to try and increase internal height and make it a bit more spacious. High visibility guide points, as you can see here, is nice and easy. Overall, in terms of it comes in one bag, um, you're looking about 35 kilograms for the tent on its own, plus the footprint and carpet. Overall, like I said, as a package deal comes at quite a, a very competitive price point. Uh, and if you want any more information, of course, you can always check the link below the video. It takes you through to our website where we've got all the information there as well. Um, and pitching-wise, it's quite simple. It's got each one's done individually, so you pump it up as you go along. A manual hand pump is also supplied with the tent as well. And you can pitch this thing on your own. I think it took me about 11 minutes, 12 minutes. But again, we've got a, our own at walls pitching videos on this as well. Things to bear in mind as well with this, even though you've got things like ventilation, so low level ventilation believes a sort of window in the living area and a side mesh door. Other things as well is obviously where you've got ventilation, you ideally want them completely open, just to allow that air to circulate. Certainly on a warm day like today, it does get a little bit sort of warm inside polyester tents. So that's where ventilation can, you know, be on its own. Essentially it's a free zone tent, so you've got sleeping, living, and then an enclosed canopy. The canopy at the front can be uh, completely sealed up. Alternatively, it can be opened up into three sections. So you've got sort of a third, two thirds, and then fully open. The window panels at the front obviously gave you great visibility out, but as you can see here, we've got privacy curtains around the whole of it as well to completely enclose everything. So that way, when it doesn't matter, you know, if you go away from the site for a little while, you can get the privacy up there completely. What I might do actually is open this up just to show you as a contrast on how it can also look. And one thing as well as attention to detail, you've still got little clips, for example. Those are just designed that it takes the weight of the actual zip. So for example, if I undo the zip like so, you've still got that clip there located that you can just kind of undo that. Other things, you've got a secondary zip as well. So if you wanted to create a little veranda, you could quite happily do that, you see. So you can actually almost fold the front section in half, flip that over and get a little bit of airflow into the tent. What I'm gonna do, of course, is just open this up completely. And we'll take that back. And ideally, what you're meant to do is roll it all nice and neatly back and toggle it. But I'm feeling a bit lazy, so we'll just uh, tuck it in the corner. But straight away, you can see how kind of flexible that front section is. And from a depth wise, it's actually a decent sort of depth. But I'll tell you what, let's have a little bit more of a look about the Camp Star 700 as we go inside. So let's see what that's on offer. 
So now inside the tent, you can kind of get hopefully a bit more grass for the sort of space you've got in here. Like I say, it's quite colossal considering certainly what you pay for what you get. Um, overall, like I said, we've got three sections. We've got sort of the canopy section at the front, living area and a sleeping area at the back. A divisional door in the middle here kind of almost helps to create kind of a little sort of sections either side. So you've got a cooking stove, all that sort of stuff can quite happily go here. The middle door, which I'll show you in a second, can actually be completely opened up. So that's where this really is going to be the hub, probably where you're going to be cooking. Uh, and again, because the door sort of comes back this way, naturally your flow of entrance is going to be probably direction in that way. Um, so that way this is kind of your little corner for your cookery bits. Like I said, on the outside you've got uh, curtains, so you get great, great visibility when you want to, but also privacy when you want to. And again, halfway uh, points for the toggles. So what you find is that means that you can have a little bit of privacy with obviously light coming in as well. So it's nice to have options and all of the window sections basically can then roll down, toggle down to the point beneath, uh, and that way it kind of keeps it a bit more clean. When you buy the package, there is actually a ground sheet included for the front section, and what you find is actually inserts kind of almost trying to go around the beams to make it feel more bath tubby. Uh, overall, what we can then do, like I said, is open up a divisional door into the section here. Again, that rolls back. Thank you. So roll that back. Tuck that out of the way. And as you probably saw, actually, to be fair as well, is that you've got two mesh doors, uh, or mesh windows, I should say, either side of the door. So again, that's going to help with airflow. Immediately, you've got no mesh barrier at the very front of the tent, but having those two bits, you can sort of seal it up and still allow that to come in as we like it to. Space in living areas is plentiful, to be fair. You know, merely for me, interior height isn't as good as probably some of the other models on the market. You know, I'm sort of standing in the corner, I'm a little bit further away, but from the extra kind of footprint that you see, being a 450 width, um, that sort of probably combats that in many ways. One thing you've got, like I said, is still key features, things like your hanging point for a lantern, Velcro tabs to have the sort of your electric lights going down quite easily to cable entry points. And from a cable entry point, you've got both on either side, so it doesn't matter which side the main hookups could have come, you can quite happily accommodate it. When we come to the back section now, we've got um, obviously a really nice sort of darker style inner. So previously on the video you saw before, there was a door in the back here. That's not the case. So as you see it now is how it's going to be. The darkened bedroom obviously is not officially blackout, but it does help to make and sort of reduce down early morning light. Divisional parts in here are split up. So really it's kind of meant to be a two, three and a two. I think realistically, this being, I think it's about 170 width, 180 width, you're not going to get three people in there, but that I would see this being as that's your master bedroom. You've got probably then kids' bedrooms either side. So I think definitely more of a comfy six, a perfect four if you really like your space. You know, one kid in there, one kid in there, master in there, plenty of room to play with. But then if they get, you've got, you know, kids or friends that you bring along, you can put two in either side. So then that would be okay. Dividers between there are toggle dividers, so you can still kind of get level of privacy you went to, or if you want to, you can completely open out, which suddenly makes it, you know, a, a two, three, and two, or a five and a two, five, two, and the other way around. So flexibility is one thing that's nice, and you can also buy an additional bedroom if you really want to, to go in here. So another two berth can sit in this area. It's going to take up the whole space, but in a way, it's again not affecting the flow of the front door. Um, and then you can almost use the back section for storage, I suppose, if you wanted to, but Again, each can people can person use it as they like. Where are you going with that now? Mesh side door really helps with breathability. It's a small little details I do quite like as well. So we've got little Velcro tabs down here so you can run the cable underneath the door without it kind of flopping around. You've got Velcro points here for the kind of the up and down lighters that are unique to Outdoor Revolution. You've still got little uh, points again here as well so you can put the tube, oxygen tube pocket organizers. So the ability to create additional space without having to have physical wardrobes inside the actual tent, so you can quite probably put that on that middle beam. Color coordinated uh, sort of points located in here as well helps to identify if you were to remove the bedroom where you'd put it back into. Storage pockets located down the bottom here as well, with its own little kind of uh, cable entry point, so it means that you can charge your phone in the middle of the night and have to worry about having the door open. But so let's pick the camera up, bring it inside, and kind of get a bit of a grasp for the camp star itself. So, here we go. So as you can see, yeah, 
kind of a nice sort of darker bedroom, plenty of room for a dog. Um, but as we kind of pan around, you see that kind of very much open front was really nice. And then that sort of dead space, not dead space, but that divider in the corner there kind of allows you to do so. The Velcro tabs that we talked about are located all the way along the beams. And you've got the Velcro points just located there as well, uh, as well as your clips for the bedroom section to quite happily sit in. Inside we've got dividers, so we've got the sort of toggle divider. So you can also see around it, but you've got your two berth in there. And like I said, as we go inside, it's, it's a bit darker than you might come to expect. You can see of course, the, the, the contrast in terms of the lights inside and outside as the camera kind of adjusts. But then we've got those little storage pockets we talked about. So you've got three kind of big storage pockets down there, a little cable entry point, and then also the other side, you probably just about see it through. You've got a cable entry point onto the outside of the tent as well. We're looking at about 10 centimeter beams, so kind of a nice strong old beam. As we come on the outside, we've got the high visibility guy lights as we talked about. There's additional zip also on the front here, so you can add a canopy uh, or additional side extensions on as well. So you'd put that across off this door here. And then the valve's located down the bottom here. And it's got a really nice big opening, so you can really get into there quite happily, which is uh, certainly one benefit. You've got a big ventilation panel kind of at the back as well, to try and obviously help with reducing condensation and getting a bit more airflow into the tent but very simplistic in terms of its kind of design, which is part of its charm in a way because you don't want things to be too complicated. You know, you want it to be easy to pitch up. You know, if you're going away for a week or weekend, you haven't got to worry too much. So I think for me, that's kind of one of the nice points about it. It's just kind of a, a big tent, but almost without any massive frills. You still, like I said, core essentials, but it does everything you kind of need it to do from sort of a basic level. So certainly as a first tent, I think it's, it's brilliant. And if you're not certainly worried about features or, you know, little gizmos, then it also works well. So overall, that's kind of a little video review on the Campstar 700. By all means, check the link below to the website where we've got our latest prices and offers and so forth as well. Um, so you can always look at that. But let us know what you think of the tent as well, how you feel it fares, what your kind of uh, opinion on it. And if you've got one, we'd always love to sort of feedback little bits of insight into Outdoor Revolution as well. So, but yeah, that's kind of our video review on the Outdoor Revolution Campstar 700.